Hey my friends, today we are in this mystical forest after some time, right? And I want to talk today with you about losing yourself in the nature. We have a little bit of the rain, so I will be kissed by the nature today, by the rain, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful because it's about time to lose ourselves a little bit in the nature. Like we're talking a lot, right? Lose yourself so we can be enlightened by the universe. We can only gain a greater understanding of ourselves if we let go of the beliefs and thoughts and stories about who we think we are. We can only get enlightened if we let new stories about ourselves in and let the stories come from the greater mind. You don't need to read about it. You don't need to listen others about it. Like what other people are thinking about you. They will always say something about you, but maybe they will not tell you the truth. Because maybe they don't know the truth. So the truth is that only you will find it out for yourself. And maybe you will go through a long process. But as long as you are keep walking forward, you are closer to the truth. You are closer to understanding of who you truly are. It's, it seems like a hard path, but actually it's a path of life. When we feel stuck, we are not stuck. We are just dealing with something which was not resolved yet. So our mission in that moment, when you feel stuck, your mission is to find what that moment is teaching you, what that person is teaching you what that experience is teaching you. The, hu the whole humanity is going through it right now. Whole humanity is going through that, being stuck. We don't know what will happen. We don't know what to expect. But what we know is that we feel a certain pain. We feel fear. We feel worries. We feel tension because like the future is unknown. But we well know the past, right? So we try to look into the future through the lens of the past. And because it never happened before, we can't see the solutions. We can't see opportunities. We can't see what is possible for us. So we feel afraid and we would rather hide or run away from it. But we can't run away from it. We can't hide from what is happening. So we feel stuck. Many people feel stuck right now. Many people are dealing with even depression right now. So what is our mission? Our mission is to lose yourself in nature a little bit because nature is teaching us to be present and that growth is a part of life. Look at that. All the trees are not as big as they are right now forever and since ever. At one point in time, there were little seeds like so little that it's almost impossible to recognize them. They were little seeds, but look at them now. Look at them now. This is your potential, my friends. This is your potential. Look at those trees. You can grow into anything, but you need to recognize potential of anything within you because everything is coming from within. Everything is coming from within, my friends. So how to recognize that? How to recognize that great potential that we are talking about? Have you ever experienced joy in your life? Have you ever experienced an inspiration for that great idea? How it felt like? Can you remember how it felt like? Because the truth is, that we are remembering moments by the emotions, not by the memories. We can remember the face of a certain person which was with us, but we will always remember the emotions that we were experiencing in that moment. So emotions are kind of records of the past. If we can feel the emotion of that past, we will be able to awaken it in our minds. So what is happening if we are constantly reawakening something which is causing us fear, causing us stress, causing us panic? 
we will be re-experiencing it over and over again until we will finally find the meaning in it or the lesson in it but what I like to do I like to look into the future to see myself to imagine myself even if all my fears are saying oh it's not possible for you what are you talking about I look into my future and I imagine my future self completely evolved being completely evolved thinking greater thoughts having around me greater things being more connected with everything more than ever and most importantly being more connected with myself so I see myself in the future walking in the nature like I'm walking right now and I feel one with the trees I feel one with the sky I feel one with the ground that's how I see myself in the future and then I will ask myself how it would feel like right now I know how joy feels like so can I experience more joy than ever can I go deeper into that vision to experience more joy than ever can I experience more inspiration from that future than ever can I experience more gratitude from that future than ever before is it possible and I will stay in that state as long as I will feel it so what I'm doing if emotions are record from the past and if I'm able to feel emotions from the future now I'm creating in my body the records of the future and my mind is the tool to guide me there because I know how it looks like maybe events will happen a little bit differently maybe things will go a little bit differently but at least I know where is my destination so what is happening during that process I will meet my deepest fears because my future self knows that in order to become more evolved I need to let go what is not serving me anymore I will meet my deepest anger my deepest frustrations they will manifest in people they will manifest in events but I'm ready to meet them because I know that I need to go through it in order to fully transform so what is the message today go through whatever you are facing with because that's how you will transform and lose yourself in nature because nature will support you nature is aware it is a pure awareness that everything is evolving everything is growing look at that we have a we could say a dead body or a dead tree but what is happening look the nature is transforming it again into a soil so the next seeds can start growing out of it you know everything is constantly flowing and evolving so is there any reason to be afraid of anything if everything is constantly flowing and evolving is there any reason to be afraid of anything you can be afraid but you will still flow and evolve but you can let go of the fear but by facing with it asking well why I'm afraid of it what is the cause of that fear okay even if I'm afraid of losing money losing friends losing those things will my life end here if all those things happen will my life end maybe you will experience an end of your old self but you will experience a birth of your new greater self so a part of you is afraid of that but there is no need to be afraid of anything because once we understand that life is eternal soul is living eternal life we will understand that if we are living eternal life then it's about time to to finally overgrow what is not serving you anymore stop carrying it in your backpack because once in a time this backpack will become 
so heavy that you will not be able to carry it anymore. So that heaviness will transform onto your body, onto your shoulders. And you will start experien experiencing that heaviness in your body and you will think like your outer environment, it's the f it, your outer environment's fault. But it's just because you're still carrying it within, within you. So lose yourself a little bit out in the nature, hug some trees, say thanks to the nature. Like, you know the trees right now are producing oxygen so we can breathe. And while we are breathing out, we are sending the carbon dioxide back to the nature. So everything is circling, everything is flowing so we can live and experience life. And as we know, the purpose of life is to experience life, not to experience anger, not to experience fears, to experience life. What is the purpose of the fear? The purpose of the fear is to know what life is all about. When we are afraid of something, we are not feeling life within. We feel something which is not life. So fear is teaching us how important life is. Same as anger. Anger is teaching us how important compassion is. How important connection is. How important is kindness. If you are constantly angry, you feel disconnected from everything. And that is teaching us how important is connection. So be more kind to yourself. Be more kind to yourself, my friends. And it's all okay to feel pain. It's all okay to feel worries. It's all okay to feel any kind of emotion as long as you're learning from it, from where it is coming from, why I'm feeling it right now, what triggered that emotion, what from the past is still holding me. <laughs> it's time to let go, my friends, because life is much greater and you are about to go through it. Right now, you are in the middle of the breakthrough. So keep your head up, open your heart and walk with bravery, my friends, and lose yourself in nature. <laughs> this is it, my friends. I'm sending you love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day and see you soon. One love. <laughs>